These updates have just come in. Some disturbing news coming in from the United States yet again. A shooting has been reported in downtown Louisville in Kentucky State. The police has confirmed reports of mass casualties after an active shooter opened fire. The officials have urged all residents to stay out of the area. Police activity was seen near a bank in the downtown area of the city of 625,000 people. Kentucky governor has said he is heading to the scene. He also tweeted, and I'm quoting here, please pray for all of the families impacted and for the city of Louisville. I'm going to try and go grab him. Yeah, let's see if he'll come over here. Can we speak to you or do we need Our correspondent Susan Tehrani is also live with us from New York. Susan, yet another shocking news coming in from US, yet another shooting happening. What more can you tell us? Yeah, what a terrible way to start the week. We now know that Five people have been pronounced dead. Six are on their way to the hospital. Law enforcement just held a very brief press conference. As you mentioned, the mayor is on his way downtown. FBI is working with law enforcement. We do know that the shooter has been neutralized. When we hear that, it means most likely that the shooter has been shot, considering the fact that we did uh, hear multiple reports that there was a shootout between law enforcement and uh, this individual who was carrying out the shooting. Eyewitness accounts were obviously recorded, uh, but, you know, people were shocked, people hiding in their cars. Uh, there was one eyewitness that saw someone on the floor uh, and didn't realize that it was a shootout. He was very close to the scene. He first thought that the person just fell on the floor before realizing that that person was uh, shot and injured. Uh, so those individuals on their way to the hospital in about an hour's time at 11 30 a.m. local time. We are going to get another press conference uh, by law enforcement and they'll be able to share more information with us regarding this incident in Louisville, Kentucky. Susan, this once again brings to light the problem of gun laws and how easy it is to possess weapons in the United States. Now, I know it is dependent from state to state. When it comes to Kentucky or when it comes to any other state, are there any kind of measures which are going to be taken at the earliest because these shootings are almost happening on a daily basis now. Well, yeah, there are two issues right now. First, uh, it's the person that carries out the shooting. There is a lot of mental health issues uh, as well that need to be addressed. Uh, and then, you know, there are some gun laws that the most stringent ones were passed in uh, last summer which were with background checks and red flag laws. But because we don't know the specific incident uh, and why it happened, whether or not this gun, what kind of gun it was, was it purchased legally or not? Uh, and, and you know, there's so much little information about it. It's really hard to determine uh, what caused this shooter to act the way that it did. Thank you for all those updates, Susan.